you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby day today. Today I've got the scoop, I've got the hot off the press, breaking news. I have got the lookbook for Fendi's Women's Spring Summer 24 Drop 1. And I've got some prices as well. Let's have a look and see what's on offer. My phone went off in the middle of work yesterday and I was like, what the heck is this? Who's WhatsApping me on a work day? And it was Fendi and they were sending me the lookbooks for the Women's Spring Summer 24, drop one of how many, I don't know. Um, and I've got three lookbooks here. I've got leather goods, I've got accessories and I've got ready to wear. Now, I thought I would share this with you guys and we would go through it together. The first one we've got is women's leather goods, which let's face it, is the big thing that we're all here for. It's all about the bags, isn't it? First things to note are the colors, very, very muted, very, very muted colors. The blues are these kind of slate blue. I actually quite like this peekaboo I see you in the, in the cellier, which has got the stitching on the outside in this really sort of deep gray slate blue. I actually really, really like that. We've got the mini boo, mini peekaboo. Uh, this is in the iconic in a sort of chalky white, which is quite cute. You can see the prices there as well. Moving down to the next section, we've got this sort of um, fawn tan colour, 3,400 for the petite. We've got this orangey colour, which is not one for me. I'll be honest, the colours in this collection aren't really for me. This yellow is kind of an acid yellow. Peekaboo ICU medium. Now this one, look at that slouch. Look at that smile, she's gonna smile that one. She's big and she's grinny. She's also 4,500 pounds in a lighter color of that sort of blue. What is this? We've got another sequin. We've got another sequin baguette, kids. And this time it is in white. Interesting, 3,700 pounds. And then the mini in 2,650. Moving down, we've got the mini baguettes in the same colors, the same sort of orange, that bright yellow. These all seem to have silver hardware as well which I, I kind of like for a change. There's no FF logo all over these. So a little bit more low key. And that price is 1,920. So again, you've got the blue, the light blue, the orange and the bright yellow there. So moving on to the normal size baguettes, white, that dark sort of gray blue. Again, I really, really do like that color. I think that'd be a great neutral. And then this kind of fawn kind of color. What would you call that? I'm not entirely sure. It hasn't given us any colors, just, just um, reference numbers and prices. If you want to grab any of these reference numbers, feel free to pause, take a screenshot and then send it to your client advisor to say, this is coming and I would like one of these. Okay, so now we've got the Nappa leather in the regular size baguette, 2,750. And this is very icy blue, but this has got the aged gold hardware. This one, this, um, this is one of the canvas pieces, the embroidered canvas pieces. This is the one that I think I want in the regular size, but not in this colorway. I, I was too late to Fendi. I should have had it for the Lunar New Year, maybe three or four years ago when they had the pinks and the reds. So I'm just waiting. This is the one I think I'm gonna get in the regular. It's gonna be a bit more structured than the Nappa leather. And I think it will just work better for me, but it needs to be the right colorway. And this is not it. We've got some by the ways. We've got medium here for 2,150 in the same light blue gray. And then this kind of buttery yellow. I don't like this color at all. And then this new bag, the Fendi Flip, which was in the cover photo. And this is 1,420 great British pounds. So it kind of looks like a tote bag that you could flip over hence the name, and then maybe carry it as a clutch um, as the model was doing on the runway. It's always nice to see what's actually going to make it to the stores from the runway because we know not everything that you see on the runway makes it into full production. A shot here of the Fendi Flip in its tote form 
and then fold it over again there. So that looks like a larger size, that one. And what do we have here? We have an origami uh, in, is this, oh look, this looks like python. Interesting. The lion really likes the mini origami. I've been a little unsure of it, but I think I'm warming to it now. And we've got a Fendi first in the small in the same uh, for £3,300. And now we've got the mini origamis. Again, in that dark slate blue. I mean, this is nice. This is nice. I could see this being used. Uh, 1,400, the bright orange, if orange is your thing. A bit warm for me. And then the pale, pale blue again. And now we've got little Montresor. And they've done the Montresor in the same embroidery as the regular size baguette, which is really, really cute, really, really nice. Again, colourway not for me. And to be honest, although I have really, really liked some of the Montresors I've seen in the past, the, um, the style of the bag isn't for me either. And then we've got this more classic Zucca print with a lighter brown leather trim. And then what is this? An all black napper Montresor. That looks pretty cute. So those are all priced at 1420 We've got some more Montresor. Pale blue. The uh, bright orange. I mean, if bright orange is your thing, You've got lots of options here. You have got options. And then the white for something a little bit more neutral. OK, <clears throat> voice is starting to go. Sorry, soz. Now we've got the By The Way Mini, and this is one of the embroidered ones. So they've started doing it in this kind of miniature zucker, and it's got a cheeky little upside down Fendi there. You can just about make out on that little blurry picture. And we've got the Fendigraphy in the Mini in that pale blue, which looks really rather nice. And then the By The Way Mini with the, just the, the leather with the big Fendi on it. We've got Sunshine Shopper Tote in the small, in the same light blue for 1850 And then that dark grey blue. I really do. This is my favourite colour out of all of these colours. This dark grey blue. I think this would be a really kind of sexy neutral. Yes. And we've got a mini Sunshine Chopper in Zucker Prints with a light trim. And then there's really, 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 would you call that cognac? I would probably call that cognac. Yes, it's a very rich colour. Now we've got some wallet on chains, uh, again in the orange, in the light blue, and then this weird kind of creamy, buttery colour, which really is, I do not like it. But it's a good choice for £1,190. You've got, looks like you've got a leather shoulder strap and a chain crossbody strap there, so that would be a good good option. We've also got it in black, in the Nappa leather, and then in the Zucca print, all priced at 1190 And then we've got the Continental wallet with chain, which is a similar concept without the shoulder strap in this kind of drench, pale blue drench. The hardware is all the same colour, £870, with a little micro trifold to go with it, or a baguette card holder. Very cute. Very cute. And then the last pieces in here, we've got the FF Diamonds card case in a mix of the light blue and the dark kind of grey slate blue, which looks nice. That's £215. And we've got another Continental wallet on chain here. This is the Diamonds version, again with that two-tone colour block. And the little Diamonds wallet. So that is... Leatherware. Now let's take a look at the accessories. Sunnies. Let's start with these sunnies. So we've got, I'm guessing this is a, a similar kind of orangey colour to the bags, but it does look a little bit more pinky to me, but I quite like the um, like the cutout style of this. £300. Grey. It looks more grey than blue-grey. Ah, uh, here's a more blue version of it. Yes, very, very nice. Um, personally, not for me, because I like to be able to cover my eyebrows with sunglasses. And um, we've got this Fendi First sunglasses with a big F on its side, emulating the, the grip of the Fendi First clutch bag. £360 in tortoise shell and in black with silver hardware. 
This is an interesting one. This is the Fendi Way for £300. Quite big, quite blocky, but again, it looks like it's all down here and the top is kind of lower than eyebrows styly. Not really sure what I'd make of those. I need to see those on. So they come in black and this sort of creamy, buttery yellow again. I don't like that colour. Fendigraphy. Now these are big and bold, aren't they, for £410. Big Fendi. Big, I nearly said a bad word. <laughs> Fendi down the side of it and a lot of kind of plastic. These are giving me like 70s computer monitor screen <laughs> vibes. Not really sure what to make of those but then they've got that sort of creamy neutral colour and then the black. Now we've got some, what have we got? We've got earrings down here now. Let's have a look at these. Fendi Philo earring. This looks like a single earring for £560 and little Philo earrings, smaller idea. So they look like knots for 330 for a pair. And then this one's interesting. I think these ones, the Fendi Philo earrings, I think these ones were the ones that were, were they worn up the ear? Because these ones up here for 560, these were the cuffs, so these went round the top of the ear. Like those, like those a lot. They looked great on the models. Um, another pair of not Fendi Philo earrings. Interesting earrings there, like the design, the kind of the, the knottedness of them. Gives a bit of interest. And we've got a ring set here. So does that look like that one ring clips into the other ring? Kind of looks a little bit like that. So that's a two ring set there for 430. Or you could have a single one for 275. Those are quite cute as well. Bangles. Philo bracelet, so this looks like just like a little pop-on cuff for 330. Cute, not particularly exciting. This one's nice. Yeah, this big cuff. This is a nice big statementy cuff, and this is 940. I like that. And then we've got a nice little delicate chain bracelet for 330. A little bit of something for everyone there. Yeah, you've got these lovely drop earrings. Now these look like they should be dangly drops, but they look solid. They look like they're a solid bar with the, which you clip up here. These are 650. Those would be interesting. I'd like to see how those would actually hang on my ear. And then we've got the Fendi Philo necklace with that kind of swirly knot. Um, I like that. That's 370. Got some watches. Not really into watches from my handbag brands. Alligator strap for 1520. And then, oh yes, you can see a bit clearer there, the, the alligator strap is in green on this one. Like that colour combination of the green and the gold, that looks really nice. Black, these are all in calf, the straps. Uh, so you can see a bit clearer there on that sort of taupe. Maybe that's the colour I was looking for earlier, taupe. And then this sort of tan colour as well. Those are all one thousand. £150. Then these ones uh, look like a bigger size, bigger size face on the watch. Taupe and black again. We've got a couple of rappies. Again, those colours, the grey, the light blue, the bright orange. These rappies are 170 That's got a little bit more pink on it. I, I kind of like that one. And then you've got your blues and your browns. Got a couple of foulard. I like the colours on this because you've got a little bit more pink and purple. 370. Don't know what size they are, but I'm imagining they're going to be 45 centimetres square. And then one again in the same design, but in the browns. Another foulard here for 370 with the Zucker print. Oh, it looks like little hanging bags all the way around, like little mini baguettes and peekaboos all the way around. That's quite sweet. Love this poncho. I don't understand what it means with oven. This is 940. Doesn't that look rich and cosy and snuggly. And then we've got this foulard here, which is a bit more of an abstract design, but with the FF logo on it. Okay, now we move into shawls, similar to the Louis Vuitton shawls. This is 4 430 in this pale blue. You can see the shine on there. You've got a bit of Fendi and then the Zucker print. Oh, is this a sort of denim-esque? like the look of this. This is £400. And then a stole here for 520 in just off-white cream with the FF and then Fendi on both sides. That's very nice. And then in a sort of 
blush pinky colour, peachy pink. We've got a couple of hats here, which are interesting. Not sure if this F bit is meant to be worn at the front or at the back, but I've certainly got a hat that's a bit bigger at the front and shorter at the back, so you don't keep knocking the back of your head on things or the back of your hat on things. That's 490, so that's a sort of slightly off-white colour. And then the pale blue, also 490, although that one looks smaller. We've got a strap you here in gold for 830 with a double F and then just a big chunky chain. That's very cute, like that. 830 for this pale blue extendable guitar strap. Very nice. Oh, I like these. These are a good idea. Small peekaboo handle cover. So if you don't want a rappy on it or a twilly on it, you could get one of these for 650. I like that. I think that would look quite nice on uh, Ms. Purple Peekaboo. And then you've got blues, blues and greys, and then your tans. And then these ones are 560. So these are a little bit less. I'm guessing because these are all the same colour and not multicoloured like the other ones. So you've got the pale blue, you've got your brown, and then you've got this yellow. I think the yellow would look good on Miss Purple Peekaboo, who I'm looking at on my uh, on my shelf over there. And then we've got the Piku Pikus Peek O Peekaboos. These are basically jewellery, really, aren't they? Four hundred pounds. You've got the pale blue with the silver hardware, bright orange with the silver hardware. They do look cute, aren't they? And then the tan in silver hardware, and they all look like they're calf leather. And then these uh, crazy fortune teller charms that really take me back to my childhood days playing in the playground. Give me a number, one, two, three, all of that kind of stuff. You smell is always what mine ended up being, I think. £370, you've got the orange with the blue, the bright yellow with the taupe, and then a white with the brown. They're quite fun. The Fendi Flip again here with 560 but with a like little strap, the nano fendigraphy in the canvas again in those colours. So you've got the nano baguette charm for 870 in that snake skin. And then the nano baguette charm. Why isn't it pink? <laughs> if this handle was pink, this is a throwback to the one that Cassie had that's been haunting me. The green nylon with the oversized buckle and the pale purple lilac strap. Love this style. Love, love, love this style. This is 830. Why is it orange? We've got some belts here. 370 with the logo on them. I'm very sorry, kids. We're going to have to pick this up again later because that is our ride to go and have wine with our besties. So we'll pick this up a bit later. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, we're back from the wine boutique and I've got a daisy bag of the day. It was Ms. Fuchsia baguette. Um, sorry for the interruption. You've got to squeeze in filming where you can. Do apologise if I appear a little squiffy. Shouldn't be too squiffy. Only had a few little drinky poos, yes, Daisy. So where were we? We've done leather goods and we've done accessories, so we must be on ready to wear. We have this model here, inexplicably wearing a strapless frock and gloves. I don't think I've seen that before, so something new. We've got coats. Hi, Lily. I've got a Lily and a Daisy. I think they missed us while we were out. Or they're hungry. One of the two. So first up, we've got coats. We have this kind of patchwork. It looks like leather. I think it is leather. It's a leather overcoat. £11,300. It's nice. It's not for me. And we've got this, what looks like wool overcoat. Done up like this, £6,800. Done up like this, it looks like not very much but I think you could do things with that. I think as a basic that you could then 
accessorize and dress up and make your own i think you know that's a good shout a good shout now we've got this kind of weird coat which looks like it's cropped at the back and then full length at the front and a little bit stripy uh with a big collar i don't know how i feel about that i lie i do know how i feel about that i don't like it eight thousand five hundred pounds the model's in orange. She's in orange. She's wearing a brown leather coat, which must be this overcoat here. Brown leather, £7,100. Again, doesn't look like a huge amount on its own. Looks nicely tailored, but not particularly exciting. But the kind of thing that you would be able to dress up. 13,000 Great British Pounds. And just a reminder, I only have pounds. I don't have euros or dollars uh, pricing for this again it's not hugely exciting as an overcoat it's okay it's okay love what the model is wearing tailored trousers kind of carrot shaped trousers in that gray with cropped it looks like crocodile um biker jacket bomber jacket with that bright yellow underneath so you've got your neutrals there, you've got your grey, black, white shoes, a brown, tan brown bag, and then that real pop of yellow. I like that. So is that what the jacket is? The jacket is called a blouson. Oh, and it's £88,500. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a lot, isn't it? That must be actual croc. What have we got next? Let's see what we... Whew, see if we can calm it down a little bit here. We've got a model here wearing a blue coat. Blue overcoat. Looks a little bit like a lab coat. W coat wove N fabric. Oh, woven fabric. Uh, £3,300. It looks like a lab coat to me. And then we've got the jacket. This is a similar style. In fact, I think this is a, um, a perennial style cut of jacket that Fendi do because I've seen this in the Zucker print in the canvas jacket um, and it's in pale blue this time it's 1450 it's okay we've got the blouson again blouson jacket and this looks like it's in is this in mink it looks like it's in mink fur it's 15,300 so the price would indicate that it's mink and it's the FF in different colours across it. You've got quite like that. Quite like that. We've got a full length coat which has a tie on it. Makes it look a little bit like a um, dressing gown. Bathrobe. Uh, that's £26,000. So that must be, again, um, mink. And now we've got a bit more tailoring below here. We've got, we have a gilet. Tailored gilet for £1,920 in this really soft grey taupe colour. The matching jacket for £2,150. And I was hoping this was going to be a pair of trousers, but it's not. It's a blue cardigan. It looks like it's cut up the front with just a, a tie at the top. Maybe a hook and eye. And at the back, it's just connected at the top and then it's open at the back as well. That's £1,520. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure I like that. Ooh, now this frock. I like this frock. It's a high neck, icy blue. Icy. She's as cold as ice. With a little frill down one side and then a cut out around the sleeve on the other. High neck. This is £3,800. Nice. I'd like to see what that looks like on. So the model here is wearing some what look like those kind of socky things that you put over your trousers so you don't contaminate a crime scene. Quite a nice frock and then orange accessories with the orange baguette and orange gloves. I don't get the summertime frock with glove thing. And there's the dress. That's £2,650. This is a dress. It looks like the overcoat, but it's a dress. It's a belted dress. It's £2,000. Can't tell what it's made of from this picture. Um, it's got a really high neck with the FF. It's block print. It's, I don't like the colours particularly on it. This is a very skims type dress. High neck, very tight. Looks like a tight 
weave tight knit with the FF all over in the taupey colour. That's 1520. I would like that if it wasn't high neck. If it was a boat neck, I'd be in. And oh, look at the drape on this orange dress. Okay, that's beautiful. £2,250. That is beautiful. So now we've got this orange dress that the model is wearing, which looks very similar to the one we just saw, but isn't the same. This is a £4,800 dress. It looks a bit brighter, looks a bit more yellow orange. It's nice. It looks good on the model there. And then that's the dress I think we saw in the very first shot. Strapless with this big panel, lots of colour blocking going on, brown, white, light blue and orange. The colours are brilliant together. They're incredible together. It's £2,450 and I absolutely wouldn't wear it because it is so brown. Okay, we have another one of these skims type dresses for 1520 this time in a pale blue. Pale blue, again with the FF all over, looks like a tight weave, tight knit. Again, would like it if it was a boat neck style. Love this dress that the model is wearing and I think that is an actual Fendi fold that we saw earlier in the accessories. So it is one of the sort of more nano style with the little chain strap. This dress, um, yes, it's high neck. Yes, I've just been saying I don't like high neck. I don't like polo neck for me. I feel too constricted. But this dress is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it. It looks great with the strappy sandals. This is the dress here. It's 2750 Love the little cutout detail on it. Again, this kind of skims style, but this time it's in more of a t-shirt. It isn't a high neck. It is a little bit more of a t-shirt neck, not quite the neckline I would like to see on it, but it is taupe. It would be great underneath a, a blazer, with jeans, whatever. There would be a lot of ways of styling this t-shirt. It is £920. It's called a jumper, but it's shaped like a t-shirt. And we also have it in the pale blue. Lovely, lovely. And then we have this interesting jumper. In the bright orange, again, it's that kind of polo neck. It's that high neck. We've got that cutout detail again, and then this kind of swathe of fabric, £1,420, I like it. Okay, we have a similar version in this blue, not quite so high neck, same cut along the bottom with that swathe of fabric, but no cutout detail. So this one would probably be a bit easier to style, and this one is £1,420. Um, we have another pale blue. This is a bit more on the icy blue side. 1,250, high neck, very ribbed. And then you have this sort of keyhole detail cutouts. This is 1,620. It is a polo neck. It is your classic polo neck, long sleeve, fitted top. But you've got that cutout detail that makes things a little bit more interesting again. Okay, now we're coming down into some shirts, some blouses, and already I like this one. It is icy blue, so the colour is not for me, but I think I've seen this style before with the sort of satin finish, the FF all over, and then the little extra bit dangling down to sort of tie up, make it into a little bow. I don't really know what you would do with it. Sometimes I wonder about these extra dangly bits. What are you supposed to do with them? Cut them off, maybe? I don't know. This is a shirt. This is £1,550. We have a shirt here, plain white shirt, collarless. So it's that kind of, yeah, it's collarless shirt, £890. It, I mean, I think the most special thing about it is the Fendi label in the inside of the back of the collar. It doesn't look special. I would want to see that styled before I made any real decisions on it. And then we have another shirt here, which is at £970. And this kind of almost looks like the camisole has been printed over the top of it. I don't think I'm a fan. This is very much a blousy shirt. We've got those extra dangly bits again, but this time it's on a mannequin. 
and you can see those dangly bits tied up. Again, it's that colour blocking. The colours are fantastic together. Don't get me wrong, I don't particularly like them individually, but I cannot deny they work really, really well together. So this shirt is £920. We have a sleeveless shirt, again, collarless. So quite structured on the shoulders, but nothing hugely special, £750. And this, okay, this is interesting. £1,750 shirt woven fabric and this emulates the snake print we saw earlier. Really like the deep, deep V on this. I like the tones and how they graduate into each other there as well. That's very nice. And here we have a vest top that you could wear underneath it for £470. Fendi taking a leaf out of Prada's book by the looks of it here. Maybe even Loewe with just a plain tank top with just the uh, just the logo on it. Again, that really pale blue colour. And if this doesn't scream late 90s, early 2000s, I don't know what does. A cropped fitted t-shirt, £470. And then we have this strapless top for £1,150. This sits very much with the dress earlier that we saw with the, the strapless fitted. It looks kind of corsety, but without being too cinched in or anything. And then you've got that extra flap of fabric going around. And just to throw it in for £800, one more cami top. I don't know if the design is that it is folded over to make it asymmetrical. Okay, we've got a skirt here. We've got that drape on the front. We've seen Fendi do this a couple of times in recent seasons. In autumn, winter with the woven, in the sort of the woolly skirts, they had this extra panel that just hung. And now they've got it in the spring, summer 24. Again, in this icy pale blue. This one is £1,420. We have a mini skirt here that would fit very nicely with that sort of fitted corset top we just saw, £1,150. No blue on this one, just the browns, the oranges and the creams for the princely sum of £1,820 Great British Pounds. This skirt reminds me of wearing a mini skirt and then tying my cardigan around my waist but in shades of orange. This is £6,100. So what are you made of? It looks like really soft leather, buttery smooth, soft leather. Predominantly cream, dangerous in anyone's book. A little panel of that pale blue and then some brown. And the model is wearing it here with that, that kind of cami top. Okay, so the model wearing this top, it looks like that asymmetric fold is actually part of the design. They've gone with the orange mini origami to really kind of give it a little pop of colour there. And this skirt has got, looks like it's got a zip from top to bottom. So you could either loosen it after a large meal, or if you want to be a little bit, have a little bit of a, a split up the front, you could unzip it to wherever you deem acceptable for the price of £6,600. That looks like it's mink. Like the shirt earlier, this looks really nice actually as a skirt. That's 1,250. So it's not break the bank expensive. You could wear that with the shirt, buy the two together, wear them separately. Then you've got multiple outfits out of one. We have another skirt here for 1,250. Can't see a zip on it, but it kind of looks like it should have a hidden zip. It's a skirt. And then we have, now this kind of has a bit of a denim feel to it, which is a little bit left field for the fabrics that have been used so far in this collection, but colour-wise it fits in with the pale blue. You've got a little FF there on the pocket. So I do think this is denim. It's got a zip down the front again. It says £940. We've got some shorts here for 2750 in the taupe colour. I like the little stitching detail, quite high-waisted. These must be the trousers we saw on the model earlier. Kind of carrot shape, they come out and then come back in again. 
I like this detail. It is almost as though you've stolen your dad's suit trousers and you're trying to make them work. So you're putting the popper thing into one of the belt loops over here and then the excess bit you're folding down over the top to make it a design detail. I like that. It's, it's like tailoring gone wrong but styled well. Those trousers are £1,100. I like them, I like them a lot. And we've got a similar detail on this skirt here, £940. Okay, it's shorts. So kind of a skort thing. It is shorts, but then you've got the skirt panel. You won't be showing anything off accidentally in those. We've got some trousers here for £830. These look like denim again. It's the pale blue. Is it just a pale blue fabric stitched and cut to look like denim or is it actually pale blue denim? We've got the FF detail again on the pocket there. They do look denim to me, straight leg, straight leg jeans. Oh, look at the model here. So she's wearing the cut out polo neck shirt that we saw earlier, polo neck jumper. And she's wearing what looks like to be a leather pair of that sort of carrot shape trouser which I actually really like together those two together the pop of orange like that in the bag I think really to lift it rather than the gloves because the gloves really don't make sense to me and here are the trousers that the model's wearing four thousand six hundred pounds again that carrot shape slightly cropped I like this I do like this as a shape of trouser really do and that is the end of that lookbook. That was the Fendi Women's Spring Summer 2024 collection drop one. There's a lot in there. I hope you have made it as far as this in the video. I know it was a long one. I didn't expect it to be so long when I started, started looking through them, but there was a lot to see there and I think a lot to discuss. So if you are still here, pop in a little orange heart or a little blue one or just any heart in the comment section so I know you made it this far and let me know what you think of this collection are the colours for you personally my favourite is the slate blue there are a couple of things there that I could get excited about but on the whole it's a really lovely collection I can see the tailoring in it I can see the ideas behind it but a lot of it isn't for my personal taste so let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of it and until i see you yes you boop for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye